This make Wilder Valderrama a hypocrite for exposing one cult, but not exposing another? Let's get into it. So Netflix is going to be releasing this, what looks to be a very interesting documentary called Dancing for the Devil, the 7M TikTok cult. Now, I found out through Without a Crystal Ball's post that the WV Productions company, which is Wilmer Valderrama's company, is going to be a part of this or was a, or was a part of this, the making of this. And this was a project that his production company had something to do with. I am kind of wondering and very, very much curious about what the documentary looks like. But also, I almost find it that I had to say something here about this because Wilmer Valderrama, he has had years, years of scandalous behavior, okay? And let me be very clear what I mean. The dating of underage girls. When I first met Wilmer, he was 29, but I was only 17. She's... 19, and at the time you were 31. Yeah. What does a 19-year-old have to do dating a 31-year-old? What is a 31-year-old doing dating a 19-year-old? That I can think of, I remember Lindsay Lohan being a big one, um, where they were dating secretly, and then they waited to make their relationship public, right? And then you also had, who was it, Demi Lovato, where Demi wrote the song and she kind of exposed Wilmer Valderrama's age and just the trauma that happened with that. And then there was this whole thing with Mandy Moore and what he said in Howard Stern, because that was also kind of disgusting and whatever. But then again, I know people say, it's the Howard Stern show, you're supposed to act. But even that was kind of disgusting, the way that he Talked about her virginity and whatnot. Anyways, his relationship with Danny Masterson, given that Danny Masterson is a very well-known Scientologist, right? And the fact that they would hang out together, they would go to parties together. I'm kind of wondering, Wilmer's production company is spending money on this thing right here. How come he's not doing this for Scientology? Because he attended events, because he was in support of various uh, cult stuff with Scientology. I mean, let's just keep it a buck right like he was in support of his friend Danny Masterson um it wouldn't surprise me if there's stories out there of Wilmer now let me just say this in my opinion I believe that Wilmer is very close to the Church of Scientology and you know he probably knows a lot and he doesn't say a lot he did not write a support letter to Danny Masterson so let me correct myself on that when he was sentenced a character witness letter Wilmer did not write one so let me correct that However, they did party together. They did go out together. They were seen together. Um, they were close. They were castmates. He was kind of part of the little circle that they had there as well. So I am kind of curious as to, you know, Wilmer's over here exposing one cult. Are you ever going to expose Scientology? I do have to kind of wonder that. Those that are curious, Wilmer Valderrama attended the Celebrity Center Scientology events. Wilmer Valderrama has been knowing about the victims of Danny Masterson of Scientology. Wilmer, you've been knowing all of this. So you can't really distance yourself from this, but you're here and your production company is, you know, making this video to expose all this. What I find very interesting is that there has been no formal announcement from the WV Newsroom website. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about. So Wilmer's production company has a website and the production company is called WV Entertainment, okay? Founder and CEO, none other than Wilmer Valderrama. And this is what I find so interesting that I haven't seen anything more formal. However, the formal announcement is coming from Without a Crystal Ball on her IG page. She puts in on her IG, she says, I'm incredibly proud to announce that the docuseries Dancing for the Devil, the 7M TikTok Cults, coming to Netflix on May 29th, 2024. Bringing this project to this point has taken more than two years of extensive work with producers, directors, and working with the former members of 7M and Shekana Church. Robert Shin filed a lawsuit against me and others involved in the production of this series in my opinion to attempt to stop the production and prevent people from coming forward while the lawsuits are still pending his threats and legal actions did not stop the production 
I'm so proud of all the former members who will be seen in this series. This is what she writes. Their vulnerability and heartbreaking stories will be given a platform to fully expose the trauma and pain they endured while inside this group. Miranda Derricks remain inside, remains inside the group. Public photos on Instagram with their family do not change the fact that she remains under the reins of Robert Shin and the team of mentors that control her career. Other dancers are active in the group. I'm hopeful that the series will shine a light on exploitation that occurs in Hollywood. Talented dancers and entertainers can, can be targets for people with nefarious intentions. I hope this series will give the former members hurt by the group the validation that the trauma they experience and fraud they endure is real. I hope the series will reunite the families that remain split apart to this day because of this church and cult. I hope the audience can see the humanity of the former members. This is the longest post ever. Let me just get to the point where she tags Wilmer's IG. This series is made in joint production of official WB Entertainment. And this would be Wilmer's company right here, y'all. That's Wilmer's company, a Wilmer Valderrama production company. So what role do they play in the making of this? Um, I'd like to know a little bit more. But all she says here is that this series is made in joint production of the official Wilmer's company and Dirty Robber, a special take. A special thanks to Jesse, myself, and I, and Tim Milgran for reaching out to me to help them bring this series to life. Also, a huge thanks to Wilmer Valderrama for believing in this project and showing incredible care, empathy, and compassion to the families and former members. Now, let me just say this. I wouldn't say I know too much about this cult. I would I'm going to link in Dr. Grande's video into the description box because he really breaks it down. I love his analysis of this. But I will say this. Wilmer's participation or whatever he did to bring this to light, I'd like to know what about Scientology? Because he was participating in various events. He was going to these events. He was doing the damn thing. Listen. He was there with Danny Masterson. He was there with Ashton Kutcher. He was there with Mila Kunis. I, you think I'm lying? There's children in disconnection that occurs in this cult. Is there children in the 7M cult? Let me know. Um, are these consenting adults that want to be part of that cult? Or are these children that can't consent, that are being exploited, that are being used to audit adults in hotel rooms? That's Scientology. That is where we need attention as well. Let me see if I can, and shout out to Chrissy Bixler. She had actually posted this picture. Now, let me, let me make myself smaller. You guys can see it. I see, does that look like Wilmer? I'm pretty, there. Mila, Wilmer, Ashton, uh, Lauren, who is it? Lauren and Danny Masterson right there, y'all. At the Celebrity Center International. Look at this. Wilmer, Wilmer. There's a lot of victims in Scientology right now, Wilmer. Can you also put some focus over there, over there, please? Do you want me to talk to you in Spanish? Because I know you sabes, yo sé el español también. You tell me. ¿Qué vamos a hacer aquí? ¿Vas a poner tu atención allí? This is where they need it, too. Look at this. That's Wilmer at the Celebrity Center singing Christmas carols. Of course, I'm going to be watching the documentary. I definitely want to give some review to it. But I want to know what you guys think about this. Um, he can't disassociate himself from this cult, from Scientology as well. Because there's so many pictures of him with this group parading, going to events. There just are. And for those that say, well, he's not a Scientologist, well, that's great. But he also attended the events. He was also there when a lot of the stuff was happening to a lot of the Danny Masterson victims. He was there. And I also find it interesting that there's no formal announcement from his production company or from him. I found out that he was involved through without a crystal ball. But why isn't he speaking out? Like, I'm wondering, does he not want to be mentioned? Does he really want this kind of clout? And let's not forget that in 1999, 
page six called Wilmer, Lauren, Mila Kunis, Ashton Kutcher, Danny Masterson, Scientologist stars. That's what they were called back then. This picture right here was at the 11th annual Christmas Stories fundraiser to benefit the underprivileged children. So in addition to the crazy dating problematic history that Wilder Valderrama has had, there's also this thing about the Scientology and maybe his dealings with Scientology. I don't know. You guys let me know your thoughts in the comments. What do you think about this situation? She's very quiet. Every time she's very quiet, it's for a reason. I'll see you guys on the next one. Rabbits out. Bye, guys.